Welcome! We would like to welcome you in one of the several initial housing centers of the federal state of North Rhine-Westphalia. This initial housing facility has been founded in September 2015 to receive about 200 refugees at a time. The purpose of initial housing facilities is to prevent refugees from being temporarily homeless and to secure their subsistence. A regular stay in this temporary initial housing center takes about two to eight weeks. After this, you will be assigned to a city in North Rhine-Westphalia. With this video, we would like to inform you where exactly you are located and how daily life in this initial reception facility is structured. Currently, you are in Sieten, which is part of the city of Haltern am See. The city of Haltern am See has about 38,000 inhabitants and several surrounding villages. Lavesum, Sieten, Holan, Flasheim, Hambossendorf, Lebramsdorf and Holtwig. Haltern am See is located in the federal state of North Rhine-Westphalia. Germany is a democratic state in Europe. The Federal Republic of Germany has 16 federal states. It is home to about 81 million people. The capital of Germany is Berlin. The constitution of the Federal Republic of Germany is called Grundgesetz. We would like to explain some essential parts of this basic law. Grundgesetz, Article 1. Human dignity shall be inviolable. The German people therefore acknowledge inviolable and inalienable human rights as the basis of every community, of peace and of justice in the world. Grundgesetz, Article 2 Every person shall have the right to free development of his personality, insofar as he does not violate the rights of others or offend against the constitutional order or the moral law. Every person shall have the right to life and physical integrity. Freedom of the person shall be inviolable. Every form of violence can be punished. Inside marriage, in the education of children and of course in public space. Grundgesetz, Article 3. All persons shall be equal before the law. Men and women shall have equal rights. No person shall be favored or disfavored because of sex, parentage, race, language, homeland and origin, faith or religious or political opinion. No person shall be disfavored because of disability. Grundgesetz, Article 4. Freedom of faith and of conscience and freedom to profess a religious or philosophical creed shall be inviolable. The undisturbed practice of religion shall be guaranteed. In Germany, religion is a private matter and separated from the state. Everyone, men and women, can freely choose and practice his or her religion. Everyone else has to tolerate that. Grundgesetz, Article 5. Every person shall have the right to freely express and disseminate his opinions in speech, writing and pictures and to inform himself without hindrance from generally accessible sources. Freedom of the press and freedom of reporting by means of broadcasts and films shall be guaranteed. There shall be no censorship. Migrants have to be conscious about the fact that they are living in Germany now. In a society that provides the possibility to freely realize their religious, cultural and social life. There are some people in Germany who are afraid of strangers. In case these people act aggressively in front of you, please ask the police for support and do not become active yourself. In any case, avoid using violence. Do not only expect others to be tolerant, but be tolerant yourself. The temporary housing facility in Sieten. Due to former military use, the entire area surrounding this camp may contain munition and other warfare material. 
It is strongly prohibited to enter this area due to mortal danger. The initial housing center is managed by a German Red Cross unit based in the nearby city of Coesfeld, which has established an office in this camp. The German Red Cross employees are present at all times. They are happy to answer your questions about personal as well as organizational matters. The temporary housing facility is surrounded by a fence and is supervised by a security company. All visitors have to report to the security service before entering the facility. Some citizens of Haltern am See voluntarily help at the camp or donate items. Arrival at the initial housing center in Sieden. Following your arrival, you will be placed in a heated tent or building and food and drinks will be provided to you. Afterwards, everyone will be examined by a doctor, starting with families who have children. A diagnosis sheet will be filled in by the doctor. In case further special examinations are necessary, these will be conducted at a different location. If there are no remarkable results, you will be placed in the camp. The separate steps are the internal registration, the handing out of an information sheet, the distribution of bed linen, sheets and pillows, the distribution of personal hygiene kits, women and men, the placement in the housing facility, daily routine, free meals are provided in the dining area, breakfast 8 to 9.30 a.m. Lunch, 12 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. Dinner, 6 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. For breakfast and dinner, you will receive a packed lunch. For lunch, you will be offered a warm meal. It is not permitted to take food into the living quarters. In this camp, there are two emergency meeting points. In case of an emergency, please gather at these locations immediately. The gate is closed at 10 p.m. At night, there is a quiet time between 10 p.m. and 7.30 a.m. Voluntary activities. Volunteers organize several activities at the camp in Haltern am See and in Sieten. For example, German classes, welcome cafes, games and crafts, yoga sessions, activities for children, adolescents and adults, further events. All activities are advertised on the info board in the dining area. Participation is voluntary. Rules of conduct. Mutual respect and consideration are absolutely necessary. Instructions by the employees have to be respected. Meal times have to be observed. Sports may be played in the designated areas only. Sanitation facilities such as toilet and washing containers are available and are designated to female or male users. The facilities are openly accessible. Please make sure the facilities are still clean when you leave. The radiators in the housing facilities may not be used to dry laundry. High danger of fire. Inside the living quarters, smoking is strictly prohibited. Smoke detectors have been installed. In case these detectors notice smoke, water is dispensed automatically and the police as well as the fire department are noticed. You may smoke outside. Cigarettes have to be properly stopped out and placed in the designated waste containers. In general, waste has to be properly disposed of. There are trash cans placed at different locations. Financial support. Every adult receives a weekly allowance of 30 euro. Every child receives 5 euro per week. You can earn 1 euro and 5 cents per hour for voluntary community work. Wages from this kind of work are handed out with the weekly allowance. Hygiene. The toilet facilities are normally separated into women's and men's bathrooms. 
As an exception to this, there may be additional toilets for disabled people. Bathroom facilities are usually separated into a lavatory and a lockable toilet cabin. The following objects are normally located in the toilet facilities. Inside the lockable toilet cabin, a toilet bowl with a toilet seat and lid, a toilet paper holder, a toilet flushing device, a toilet brush, and in ladies' bathrooms, a small trash can. In this bin, you may only place sanitary products, such as tampons and sanitary pads. Please do not use them for used toilet paper. This is to be disposed of in the toilet bowl. In the lavatory. A sink with a tray and a mirror. A soap dispenser or a soap dish. A towel holder or a paper towel dispenser. A trash can. You open the lid and sit down on the toilet seat. In the toilet cabin, you will find toilet paper, which is used and then placed in the toilet bowl. Now you start the flushing. Residues in the toilet bowl need to be removed with the help of the toilet brush. After using the toilet, it is essential to wash your hands for hygienic reasons. Sinks and accessories are located in the lavatory. The sinks may only be used to wash your hands. Paper towels have to be disposed of in the designated trash can. As a matter of decency, you should leave the toilet as clean and dry as you found it. Urinal In the toilet facilities, you can often find urinals in the lavatories. Urinals can only be used by men. After urinating, please flush. Please do not place any waste in the urinal. After urinating, you have to wash your hands at the sink. Showers. The shower rooms are equally divided into women's and men's facilities. Please consider the signs at the door. Usually, these objects can be found in shower rooms. A shower tray, also as several open showers next to each other. A soap tray, a shower door or curtain, not in open showers. A shower faucet or tap, a shower head, a large trash can. Here you can dispose of empty packaging, paper towels, disposable razors, etc. The shower should only be used to clean your entire body. Please choose the desired water temperature using the faucet, apply soap and shower. You should not remove the shower head. Afterwards, you have to close the tap. After drying yourself, please do not forget to take all your clothes and towels. Showers may never be used as a toilet. Washing machine. Please insert the laundry you would like to clean into the washing machine. No more than two thirds of the washing drum should be filled. Then the door has to be closed. Please place an appropriate amount of laundry detergent in the designated drawer. A measuring cup should be used. It is marked with lines. Laundry detergent in Germany is highly concentrated. Therefore, the measuring cup should only be filled up to the lowest line. This prevents the washing machine from foaming over. Please select the desired washing program, 40 or 60 degrees Celsius, and push the start button. When the washing process is completed, please turn off the washing machine and wait for about two minutes until the automatic lock opens with a click sound. Then you can open the door and take out your laundry. Laundry dryer. Please insert your clean laundry into the dryer. Up to two thirds of the drum should be filled. Please close the door and select the drying program, Schrank trocken. Push the start button. When the drying process is completed, please turn off the laundry dryer, open the door and take out your laundry. 
Below the door, you can find a fluff filter. Please clean the filter and put the fluff in a trash can. As you do with other wastes, such as plastic bags, empty detergent containers, etc. In many cases, you can find clotheslines in the washing and drying rooms. In that case, please hang your wet laundry on these lines. After using the washing and drying facilities, please leave the room clean and make sure you take all your personal belongings. Emergency calls. In case of an emergency, everyone has the duty to help any other person directly and personally. At the same time, an emergency call has to be made. In public buildings, you can often find direct connections to the fire department or to the police. In case of fire or serious injuries, you need to call the fire department, emergency number 112. In case of burglary, traffic accidents, damages to property or persons, you have to call the police, emergency number 110. On the phone, please answer the following questions. Where has it happened? What exactly has happened? How many people are injured? Which kind of injuries are there? Please wait for any further questions from the Coordination Center. Emergency calls are free of charge and the Coordination Centers can be reached 365 days a year. When the police or the fire department arrives, please keep sufficient distance to the scene of the accident. In case of fire in rooms or houses, you leave the building as calmly as possible following the emergency exit arrows and you walk directly to the emergency meeting points. Use the staircase only. Never use the elevators. If the fire is small, you can try to stop it with the help of a fire extinguisher. Protecting the environment. Waste disposal. The objective is to minimize the amount of trash. Waste separation describes the separate collection of different kinds of trash. Separated waste materials can then be recycled and utilized further. At different public places you can find trash cans, larger waste containers, glass and clothing containers, as well as paper bins. Please always properly dispose of the waste you produce. Never throw trash on the floor, but use designated containers. This equally concerns cigarette stubs. Waste separation. In Germany, waste materials are separated using differently colored containers. Gray for residual waste. Blue for used paper. Yellow for recyclable packaging, plastic and metal. Green or brown for biodegradable waste. Bottle and can deposit. For most bottles, you have to pay a deposit when buying them. When you return the empty bottles to the store, you will be refunded. For one-way bottles and cans, 25 cents. For reusable glass and plastic bottles, 15 cents. Food. In Germany, cutlery is used for all meals. Almost all kinds of food are eaten with spoons, knives and forks. For some kinds of fast food, it is possible not to use cutlery. Next to beef, poultry and game, pork is consumed. To make sure which kind of meat is used in a meal, you can always ask. Sweets often contain gelatin, which is made from pork products. If you want to consume products which are halal, make sure you buy food which is marked halal, vegetarian or vegan. Drinking with the food or for cultural events, non-alcoholic and alcoholic beverages are offered. It is okay to decline alcoholic beverages. In Germany, tap water is safe for consumption. You should not drink it if there is a special warning sign saying kein Trinkwasser. Driving and cycling is not permitted under the influence of alcohol. Smoking. At many places it is generally not allowed to smoke. In all public buildings, in restaurants and pubs. 
Smoking is only permitted in the designated areas, smoking zones. In private apartments, you have to ask the host whether you may smoke. Outside, it is okay to smoke. Please make sure your cigarettes are properly stopped out and placed in the appropriate bins after smoking. Opening hours. There are various opening hours in Germany. Administrative offices and public authorities are normally open from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. On Saturdays and Sundays, they are closed. Banks, business offices and shops usually display their opening hours at the door. They are normally closed on Sundays. Most Germans appreciate punctuality. If you have agreed on a meeting time, it would be impolite to arrive late. In case you are running late, Please inform the person you want to meet in advance. Shopping Different kinds of shops offer various products. A distinction is made between retail stores, fashion for ladies and gentlemen, shoes, etc., discounters and markets. Shopping malls offer all kinds of products. On markets, please do not touch the products, but ask the seller about the items. They will take them out of the display and show them to you. You can talk to them for advice, ask for the price and decide if you want to buy the products. You can also ask for alternative products and for special offers. You can buy fresh food on the weekly markets and in retail stores. Meat, sausages and cold cuts at the butchers. Bread, bread rolls and cake at the bakery vegetables, fruit, potatoes or flowers at the weekly markets or the farmer's market or at a special regional store – Turkish, Greek, Asian, etc. Other specialized shops Tobacco can be bought at a special store or at a kiosk. Smartphones, prepaid phones, SIM cards and mobile phone contracts at a special store. Stamps and sending packages from post offices. Discount supermarkets offer a large variety of products for your daily use. You can buy fresh and pre-packaged food, cans and drinks, tobacco, magazines, clothes, household supplies, etc. At the entrance, you take a shopping cart or basket, put the desired products inside and go to the checkout area to pay. At some gas stations, you can shop 24-7. The offered products, however, are relatively expensive. Appropriate behavior in traffic. With a motorized vehicle or bike, you have to drive or ride on the right side of the street. Please pay attention to the traffic signs and obey them. In case there are separate lanes for bikes or pedestrians, please use them. When cycling or walking outside of cities or on dark roads, it can be useful to wear high visibility clothing. This helps others to see you better. If you are on a street which does not have any sidewalk, please walk on the far left. In this case, please walk behind and not next to each other. Currency. In Germany and most of the European Union, the euro is a valid currency. There are different bills and coins, 500, 200, 100, 50, 20, 10 and 5 euro bills, 2 and 1 euro coins, 50, 20, 10, 5, 2 and 1 cent coins.